marriage is sacred. Do not marry for sexual pressure or pressure. Take your time and marry for purpose, not for pressure. Pray before choosing your partner. Seek God's guidance and you will find the right partner. Hi, welcome to the channel. My name is Cherry. When your marriage is falling apart, call on Jesus. When the enemy is stealing the love and peace in your marriage, call on Jesus. When you are sick, you call on Jesus. When things are not moving well in your life, call on Jesus. Whatever that you need to be worked on, call on Jesus. When you feel spiritually caged, call on Jesus. The Bible says at the mention of his name, every knee must bow. So call on Jesus and he'll come in your life, he'll come in your marriage, and he'll mend your marriage. Husbands, be faithful to your wives. Love them. Protect them. Be there for them. And wives, submit to your husbands. When God created Adam, he made Adam to be the caretaker of the garden, to look after the animals, every living creature that was in the garden. Adam's purpose was to look after the garden. And when God saw that Adam was lonely, he said, no, let's give him a helper. And God brought Eve into Adam's life. Eve was the byproduct of Adam. And God told Eve to be submissive to Adam. He told Eve, your needs shall be through him. Everything you want shall be through Adam. Adam's law there was to provide whatever Eve would want, Adam should provide. My brother, the purpose why God brought that woman in your life was to help you. It wasn't by accident, nor by mistake. He brought that woman in your life for a purpose. Love her, respect her, be there for her when she needs your help. And you will see the blessings of the Lord in your life. Never ever beat her, cheat on her, do any evil thing on her. Because that is your wife. That is your body. She is a byproduct of you. You are the origin. That's why God said to her, be submissive. Women, they are always there trying to be submissive to you, husbands. But we have become so pompous. It is a bad thing for a husband to beat the wife, to cheat on the wife. The Bible says that you shall become one. When you start cheating your wife, you are cheating yourself. When you start beating your wife, you are beating yourself. The Bible says husbands love your wives. Cheating on your wife, you are cheating on yourself. Beating on your wife, you are beating yourself. Wives, they do play a very important role at home. The purpose why Eve came into Adam's life was to learn the affairs of where Adam was staying. The purpose of your wife into your life is to learn and look after your home. She teaches the children, she looks after the children, she takes care of everything at home. And when you are coming back from wherever you went, you find everything at home in order. Now when God told Adam, you will be providing. He was telling Eve to be managing whatever that Adam will bring at home. Things will be okay with you if you keep her well. Things will be in favor with you if you keep her happy. Once your wife at home, she's happy, you will have peace, wherever you will be. But if you start mistreating her, beating her, doing all these evil things to her, you are cutting your blessings off. You are putting your life at risk. Love her, respect her, and you will see the blessings of the Lord because marriage is ordained by God. And whatsoever the Lord has put together, let no man put asunder. 
So marriage is not something to pray with. Don't say I married the wrong person. Don't say she's not my type. Don't say she does not do this. Brother, pray for your wife and talk to your wife because you are the head and she will be there submitting to you. Love your wives, protect them. When you're protecting your wife, you're protecting your children, you're protecting your family, you're protecting your home. There's no way the enemy will come in and destroy and bring confusion in your family. You as the head of the house, protect your wife and everyone at your home will be protected. I want this point to be heard and understood. This thing we have today of wives working, I'm not against a wife working, a working wife. You know, there's this saying that goes, sin is sweet. Sisters, when you start leaving your home, your post of duty, going for work, early in the morning, you are going off the will of God. Today, it might seem to be okay because people say, what if my husband dies? Who's going to look after my kids? What if my husband, the Lord called him today? Who's going to look after me? Yes, it's good to think like that, but worrying about your husband's death should not be your problem. Don't think for God. Yours is to put your faith in God that the Lord will provide. It doesn't matter how hard things are. The Bible says God knows what you are in need of. He knows that you need food, shelter, clothing. He knows that we are in need of all these things. But ours and yours is to have faith that the Lord is going to provide. When the Lord allows your husband to go home up yonder, he will provide a way for you to survive. Just like he provides to the birds. He said those birds, they do not do anything but I provide, I feed them. And we make it look like God has failed. God has never failed and he will never fail. God's plan was for you to look after the affairs at home. If you want to make money, do it at home. Do some business at home, job hunting, is for your husband. So stop this thing of who will look after my kids when my husband dies. Yours is to say, Father, you brought us together, keep us together, protect us. And Adam said, this is now born of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall cleave unto his wife 